In order to navigate the field easily this season, our robot has a small base. We also wanted to reach all the poles, including the highest one, so we have a long robotic slide, which allows us to stay within the size requirement while also reaching the highest goal. On our slide, we have a virtual far bar, which keeps our grabber mechanism level at all times by using a freely rotating chain. Our center grab mechanism goes into the center of the cone and then expands onto the center wall. The advantages to this pickup mechanism is that it is small and light and it is very reliable and grabs onto the cone very strongly. The slides work very well. We use 300 millimeter slides from Long Robotics. They quickly and easily reach past the top of the highest junction while remaining in the size requirements. The odometry pods perform to expectations. They fit into the U-channels on both sides and in the middle of the robot. The chassis worked very well also. It is light and agile so we can go between junctions more easily. It also has a low center of gravity so we can go fast with the slides at the highest position. We use coiled wires for powering our cone grabbers so the wires will not become trapped in the slides. Our robot also has a reversing function that allows us to change which way is forward and backward with a push of a button allowing us to cycle cones easier. Some issues that we had with our robot during meet one were the slide pulleys. They were not big enough so the string would come over the top of the pulley causing slide failure. We are going to fix this by adding bigger pulleys to prevent this issue. Another issue we had was with the TensorFlow software. We needed to detect three colors, purple, green, and yellow. It could detect purple but got green and yellow confused. We're going to fix this by adding color sensors to improve accuracy. We also had issues with knocking over cones. To fix this, we're going to add a dampening material on the cone sensor to grab the lip of the cone as it falls. We also ran into problems with getting caught on the ground junctions. The screw heads that attach the cone center to the chassis would often get caught on the ground junction. We're going to fix this by switching to button head screws and making the center thin. Our strategy this season is to do something we like to call the water glass effect. Water glass effect is where you start at the bottom of the field closest to your alliance and place as many cones as you can so that you own as many junctions and poles as you can. You then will start to fill up the field with cones, slowly spreading the, your cone ownership out. By the end of the match you can easily make a circuit because you have all kinds of cones across the field. Another way we like to help with the circuit creation is to use the five stacks. We like to ask our alliance partner if they can, can pick up from the five stacks, then have them work on one half of the circuit and we work on the other half. This creates a really fast and reliable method for making the circuit. I hope you enjoyed our mid-season update. If you have any questions or suggestions, please give us a comment down below. Thanks for watching.